Hi guys, Sensei M here. In this episode, I will talk about the question that I have been asked a million times. Why I don't color my hair? Yan, sasagutin ko ngayon. Why I don't color my hair it has a very basic answer. Because I'm allergic. <laughs> I'm allergic to substances. I'm allergic. I'm prone to contact dermatitis. I'm prone to allergic reactions basically to any chemical that comes into contact with the skin. And that is why while in quarantine, I, I am bored. And in this episode, I will try to color my hair. Good luck! <laughs> okay, first, I colored my hair before. Uh, I think if I remember it right, I colored it in sometime 2005. And uh, the result was really terrible. Okay, my head blew up really big from allergic reaction. My eyes shut up, shut up like this. I looked like a, a, a really big alien face because I colored my hair. I asked my barber to color my hair. And that was one big oh no moment because we did not do the patch test. I've seen a lot of products that said hypoallergenic, but they're not. And that's why in this vlog, I will show you some Japanese hypoallergenic products that say they are good for your hair, for your scalp, and for those who have allergic uh, reaction skin like me. And I tried back in the day this product, uh, DHC Q10. So DHC Q10 claims to be all natural and I've read good reviews and so not too long ago I tried it. The downside with the DHC Q10, although I'm comfortable using it, is that once it fades after a few washes because it's natural, it doesn't have ammonia, my hair turns purple. Yes, violet, purple, blue. So it depends on how how many shades I do it, how many coating I do it, and so my hair turns blue or purple. Um, in the illustration, first coat, second coat, third coat. Likewise, when it fades, it turns like that. So that's what happens to my hair if I use this. So we will use this and I'll show you how the, the, the color changes. Second, I also use this one before I used it. So uh, it says uh, Resure Hair Coloring Treatment. And uh, based on the packaging, based on the description of lots of flowers and many natural ingredients, um, it also works. But the problem with this one is my hair turns brown. <laughs> this is a black this this uh, shade is black yeah black but once I use it my hair will once it fades my hair will turn um, my hair will turn brown so I'm prepared for that that's why I will use blue I will use brown so that I can keep the black color finally there's this new product I've never used it has avocado extracts and many more plant extracts so I want to try using this one and see for myself if um, this is good so this will probably be my third coating so let's try this as you can see it's so white my I I am not that old as most people expect me to be so in the in the video where I was singing with my cousin my cousin is 60 was 60 years old and I'm years even more than a decade younger than him and that is why that's one big problem I always get mistaken as an Oji-san here in Japan see so with that let's color my hair Maybe this one first because this one I'm confident, I'm sure that my hair will not be ruined. So um, it comes with uh, with uh, gloves. 
Why do I need this? I never really used this. And I broke it. Useless. Ah. Q10 DHC. Let's put it here. Oh gosh. I miss having black hair. <laughs> Ready for my purple hair? <laughs> so the the box says um, five minutes every time. It's already been 15 to 20 minutes since I started and I'm not having any allergic reaction so that's good. Um, it also says if you develop any allergic reaction you have to discontinue use etc etc and the disclaimer is it won't be able to fully cover white hair so it looks promising but when I rinse this spoiler alert I think the white hair is still gonna show up and it's gonna look a little purple so let's wash it and see hi guys I just uh, rinse it off and uh, <laughs> I think my hair colored red instead of purple. So here's how it looks like. Good thing it's in we're in quarantine. That's why I'm fine. I'm sure after a few washes it will turn white again. Ta-da! <laughs> So, hello Mike, minus five years, oh, minus five years, like I thought it's going to turn red, <laughs> oh gosh, and that was just the first coating, it says uh, I have to do several coatings before my hair will actually turn dark colored so now you know why I gave up coloring my hair because I don't have the time to do this every every week and end up with reddish hair <laughs> so shall we color it again second coating Let's see. So it's reddish now. Let's let's color it again and see if it will turn um, black. Okay, second coating done. Let's let's rinse it and see how it looks like. I knew it. I knew it. My hair is gonna turn red. And it really looks red. Gosh. Or purple. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. black and red and purple so if you're gonna ask me how I how I mixed up this color it's not a mix it's Q10 DHC supposedly um, uh, hypoallergenic non-allergenic supposedly all natural and hypoallergenic I don't want another coating, so I'll probably leave it as a uh, red <laughs> for now. <laughs> I'll leave it as red for now. And I don't think it's gonna, gonna get any darker. 
red haired look. <laughs> So the other product made my hair look red and it looks strange. That's why this time I need another coating of the green bottle product. And let's see how this will dry up. I need to shave or at least uh, trim my beard because it doesn't match my hair. And also need to cut my eyebrows because uh, Again, they're sticking out and they don't match my hair color. Let's see how this goes. Shoot na natin lahat. And here's the final result. Yes. It's a little brown, but it's not as red as earlier. I really needed to use the the dining lamps to check how it looks after. So I think I'm happy with this color. Uh, not too jet black, because it's impossible to be jet black. Not red as earlier during the first, uh, first uh, coating, second coating. And this was my third coating. So this is the hair color I bought earlier here in Japan so I can't wait to style my hair so that it looks so that I look 10 years younger I hope you enjoyed this vlog if you have questions uh, type in your comments below I'll I'm not endorsing these products but I'll, I'll put the names in Japanese in the description below I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!